moving to the intermediate dogs, the first of 21, Michelle Britton and Maya, six-year-old Border Collie, she is. Yeah, picking up a refusal there on our number four. So, like I said earlier, three of those refusals, and that results in a elimination. So, she's just got to try and keep her cool now, keep it together, and try not to get any more faults if she wants to make that final this evening. And Graham, perhaps for those watching for the first time, what is a large dog, what is an intermediate dog? Well, it's all got to do with the height. So, uh, an intermediate dog uh, measures between uh, 430 of. Oh, 43 centimetres and 50 centimetres, and the hurdle height is 550 centimetres. That is the first of our intermediate dogs. Maya. And Michelle Britton. <laughs> Stephanie Best handling fate. Border Collie attended Crufts many times and always has loads of fun. That is always the name of the game, no matter what you do at Crufts. Over the U moves to start with and through the time too. Had a glance at the Skoda, didn't do it. And weaves, 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 Stephanie's shouting. Another five faults picked up. Yes, even this dog is an experienced dog, seven years old, and those mistakes still happen. At the end of the day, they are dogs, and this is Crofts, and, and the environment can play a part. Um, but Stephanie is a, a very well-experienced handler. She knows exactly what she needs to do now. You can see that she's changed her performance from the beginning of the run to now, because she is pushing for time. She needs to try and get the quickest run now with those faults. 45.5 and the 10 faults for Stephanie and for Fate. Yeah, and here we go with the fault. And I don't know whether she just drifted to the right a touch and just threw the dog wide, but uh, I think Stephanie is, has always been a good handler. I think she's now getting better and better this last 12 months. Her experience has just improved. Chloe Macon and replay. First time is at Crufts. Massive thank you from Chloe to Sean Illingworth for breeding the perfect dog uh, for her. These two eliminated in the jumping problems going. Again, it's, it's astonishing to me, those weaves again. Yeah, I mean, this is a young dog, um, slight inexperience, I think, there came into play. But I think if it was me running this course, I'd let the dogs go into the tunnel, and I'd probably try and hold back to just tell the dog to slow down, chill out a little bit, um, and, and not drive to those weaves as fast and as hard as they are. Competitors must be watching out of the back, surely, saying, just be extra careful in the weaves. Well, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure there's a lot there. I think they just, it's sex nerves, purely nerves, Jim, which is causing all this, so... Nothing to do with, nothing to do with the handling style. But you see, if she's out of here, into the weaves, you see the dog turn away when it's in the position to do them, picking up a refusal. This is fun, appropriately named for what we've just been saying. Seven years of age, retriever, Nova Scotia, Doc Tolling. Amanda Hampson, the experienced handler. Her third toller. And they tend to make a lot of noise when they're enjoying themselves, Graham. Yes, they do. Uh, Amanda's a, a great champion of the uh, Nova Scotia Duck Tollin Retriever breed, remains true to her breed, um, and always produces the best out of what is essentially, it is a working dog. As with every event, uh, Crufts would not happen without massive help from all their sponsors, Skoda, Iams, You Move, and Good Boy, all very much involved in bringing this event uh, to us and indeed to you today. Repeating this round, that's a good one, 37 and clear for Amanda and Fun, and it's the best we have seen so far. It was a good one. Very nice, very tremendously experienced uh, handler as well, and really well done. Emma Piri from uh, Carl Luke up in uh, Lancashire, Lanarkshire, I should say. Five-year-old Zuri won the Intermediate Scottish Agility Dog of the Year last year. 
Yes, this is a new and up and coming partnership. Really nice dog. Beautiful turn there on our number seven. Handler front crossing. Get a nice tight turn again onto that dog walk. Can they get that contact? Yes, they can. Turning left on that number 12. She's going to rear cross here into that tunnel. Now it's the fast part of the course onto that seesaw, getting, getting that control, pushing round, slicing on that jump. Oh! That was going so well too, so well, well inside the time. And uh, that compromised the round, but it was still, it was still terrific, and it is still actually is the fastest. Was to say, I haven't seen this partnership before, but uh, I am seriously impressed. Such a shame. Just got herself in a little bit of a bit of a, a mess there, as you say. And I think the judge he had a didn't think. give it. He didn't give it. <laughs> Shake of the hand there. It's got a VAR that one. Okay, Nara Cuddy, Nara's young dog, uh, Banana. Yeah, you see there with Nara, she hung back for those weeks. She let the dog drive ahead of her. And by hanging back, she's telling the dog, slow down. I don't want you to go into those weaves as fast as you are. You never know, Ashley might have been listening to you. Who knows? First in the jumping, these two, though. And looking pretty good. Looking really good at the moment. And it's, it's, the time is excellent, really excellent. 33.8, three seconds quicker than the rest. Nara Cuddy and Banana, what a fine young dog that is, Graham. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Another class partnership. I know I've got lots of class partnerships, but she is, she's the real deal. Digit, handled by Jody Brito. Another noisy one. Lots of you watching you trying to get to your your dogs to do what you want them to and find difficulties will be in awe at this. Again, it is going through the weeds that uh, points are being lost over the U move at that far end of the course as we sit. A little bit of an argument before Digit jumped that one. Skoda is completed without any bother. Five faults and 29 seconds. The time is good. Long jumps fine as well. The seesaw and now the right-handed to finish. Up and down over the A-frame. 39.5 and the five faults. Yeah, when I look, when I first saw this course, I really didn't think those weaves would play a part, but they have. It's, it's really surprised me. And, and something with it, then if I was looking and walking the course, I wouldn't have thought about. Steve Seal and Fleck, age nine, Border Collie. Tremendous attention and concentration from Fleck. And Steve says now's the time to go. Yeah, Steve is a great character. And this dog is just the most honest, loyal dog for him. Sometimes I have to close my eyes when Steve is running because <laughs> I just have no idea what he's doing. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Oh, close your eyes. Close your eyes now. I wish Steve... Oh, oh dear. Steve! <laughs> oh, oh, bless him. Oh, he well. would be gutted. Gutted about that. <laughs> I think that's a good bit of commentary, that, in all obviously. You, I have to close my eyes. Don't know what's going to happen. Elimination. Hard luck, Steve, and hard luck to Fleck as well. Just put that right arm out. Just sent the dog wide. So, and even even he was disappointed. Martin Cavill. Greg Derrick next and Vice. 33 years and counting for Greg running at Crufts. Vice has only been here a couple. Greg, agility team, great Britain manager, a great character in the sport, isn't he, Ashley? Yeah, yes, he is. Um, he's been there, he's done that. Oh, and just picking up a five falls in those weeds. But did you see how quickly he saved it? He saw it happen, he saved it, he stopped the dog, it looked to the tunnel, and he managed to keep going. And that is just experience for you. Um, 
he did go clear earlier in the jumping. Beautiful running dog walk, turning the wrong way. And this is one of those runs where nothing seems to be going right, but he is clinging on for dear life. And again, that's where experience comes. Down onto that seesaw, beautiful contact. Can he keep it together? Yes, he can. He got the job done. Somehow, I think it's probably the word. He will, there will be a massive sigh of relief from him. But I think he'll be laughing at himself. <laughs> I think he will, but again, it's another demonstration of if you, you've got to think so quickly, you've got to think on your feet and adapt. This is Otto, five year old Border Collie. Michelle Waugh, the handler from Gloucestershire. Otto lives to work and run, and he likes strolling around in the woodlands at his home in, in the forest at Dean. No strolling here required. And moving very quickly and very accurately so far in this round. 33 the time to beat, but most of all, they want to be clear and they want to remain here for the rest of the day. That is so good over the dog walk. Yeah, so Michelle um, actually won on to Team GB a couple of weeks ago. Um, so she will be representing Great Britain at the European Championships that are actually going to be held in England this year. 33.4 and the five falls. On you go, Graham. Yeah, so unfortunately just clipping the long jump there, but that win that you talked about, Ashley, for the win on spot is actually, she's on fire this weekend. That's been a, such a massive boost in confidence for her, for, for her and it's proved it uh, this last weekend. This is Cosmo, the handler Kaylee Hewitt from Sheffield. Five years of age, the Border Collie. What a beautiful looking dog that is. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this dog is not only handsome and stunning, but he is a very, very talented dog. Just the way he moves. It's almost like he's gliding around the course and uh, their partnership is really starting to form. Yeah, as you say, this is, uh, this is class, but again, picking up a fault on the end of the dog walk and a, and a wrong turn on the Skoda jump, but again, she's managed to correct it. Still got the five faults there. There was nothing for that wrong turn. Up and over. Very, very nice round there. Very elegant and effective round from Cosmo and uh, from Kayla. Just, just uh, picking up those faults. Yeah, just missed that contact at the end of the dog walk. And Good that's spot really by other rare actor. for that dog, actually. Not very often do I see it miss a dog walk. Tony Smith and Phoebe, five years of age, homebred, a beautiful border collie, relatively small and dainty. This one making her third Crufts appearance. Phoebe and Tony Smith from Nottingham. Yeah, so. Uh, oh. oh dear. Unfortunately, picking up elimination there. Um, this dog is actually coming back from injury. So I was talking to Tony on Thursday's competition and she said the dog isn't quite as fit as it normally would be and that's probably why it went out to that tunnel over there they probably just haven't been able to form that partnership quite as much as they probably would have wanted to um, but she's going to carry on going I guess that's the thing Graham you've got an inch dog you cannot train as much as you would like to perhaps no it's a shame I, I, as you say I don't think the dog possibly wanted to turn as tight but uh, just watching the rest of the round as she approaches the uh, A-frame I'll just tell you about the major rule change we're not marking the uh, up contact this year it's only the down on the uh, dog walk and the uh, A-frame an elimination go. then for Tony this is start runners up last year Lee Gibson from Shrewsbury and in decent form already today in the top three. Third in the jumping earlier on. If you're just joining us, a little reminder, we had the jumping earlier, this is the agility. And then uh, we sort out the best for tonight's grand final. Good stuff over the Yumu at that far end of the course. Yumping the way through the tunnel. just made contact at the end of the dog walk. This is flying, Star, absolutely flying at the moment. Good time, great over the long jump too. This will threaten the best, this one. Up and down over the A-frame, good contact at the end of the A-frame. 32.9 inside the best, excellent. Good time, great time, wow. Well done, Lee and Euro. 
really, really fantastic round. Lee gives everything 100%, leaves nothing on the table. And the dog's having a ball as well. Look at that. Bam, bam, six-year-old working sheepdog. Lindsay Spring, the handler, Bamming, just loves the atmosphere. And there's no trouble for Bam going through the weaves. This is shaping up well, too. An excellent first 15 seconds. Yes, Bam Bam is having a great time out there, barking their way round. And quick. <laughs> Through the tunnel, up over the long jump. This will be very much in the mix. Keep it going. A frame next. Right up there. 34.7 then. Uh, and it's in the top three for Bam Bam and Lindsay. Yeah, I think that run just goes to show how fast Lee Gibson was with Star. He put a phenomenal round in. Extra, Georgina Baker, the handler. Extra owned by Georgina's mum, Sue Baker. Very grateful uh, is Georgina for allowing her to run extra here this afternoon. On the yeah, you saw there in the weaves that uh, to make sure that extra stayed in the weaves, Georgina really pushed out her right arm, but unfortunately picking up elimination on that jump there. I think she'll be gutted with that. She had a lovely jumping run this morning. And when it goes wrong, it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a look at that with Graham when this, this round ends. Uh, there's not, not much you can do to recover it, but well done to Georgina and well done to, to Extra. A lot of potential there. And there we go. And I think that was avoidable, really. She just, I think she just took her eyes off the dog. The dog cut in front of her and uh, took the jump in the wrong direction. And there is the elimination signal. This is Chikada, Marita Ogilvy, the handler. Second time at Crust for Chikada. Won the Novices Cup last year. Experienced dog who too, despite being only three, competed for Team GB at the European Open and the Worlds. Got a bronze in the uh, Worlds Agility Round too. So, yeah. So Marita is a very highly skilled and experienced handler, and this dog is actually the sister of one of my dogs. So right. I will be rooting for her. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. I'm don't allowed worry. To, thank you. I'm trying not to say too much, though, because I don't want to put the commentator's curse on there. Well, I'll take it over at the end here, so it's not down to you. And what I can say is this a really fine performance as well. 33.9 and clear for Marita and uh, Chicada. Into the top three they go, Graham. Very nice round. And as you say, lucky to get away with that. It rocked back and forwards, but stayed up, so no fault. This is seven, another border collie. Sarah Kitching, the handler from Peter Lee, runners up in the jumping a couple of hours ago, so in form. Yeah, this is a really nice partnership. I really like this dog, and I definitely think it's going to be, if they can get round this agility course, I think they will be ones to watch in the final this evening. They seem really connected together. How much confidence does it give you if you've done very, very well in the jumping before this? Uh, I always say I want to get that first run over and done with on the first day of Crufts um, because it just helps you settle down. And that's a beautiful clear round from uh, those guys there. And a clear round and good enough for second place, Graham. Yes, it is very nice. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Sarah. She comes from a great agility family from up north. Uh, and as I say, she's done very, very well. Nothing less than she deserves. This is Mouse, nine years of age, the Border Collie. Nicky Paris, the handler, and got Mouse uh, when he was 18 months old as a little rescue dog. Lovely backstory, as we hear so often here at Crafts Graham. Yeah, lots of backstories here, but she's just going to be concentrating on keeping that dog in the weaves. Turns, bring the dog round. You always want to be on the inside of any circle that the dog's doing. She's doing this very right. She'll stay there again. See her change sides around the back of that jump. Now she's just thinking about get, making the dog get that contact. Oh, so clearly missed that. Needs to keep it together. Does a blind turn out of the tunnel. Just made that then. 
Seesaw must touch the ground before the dog gets off it. That's for safety reasons. Round the back of that jump over the A-frame, coming up for a great finish here. Just the five poles, great time, 41.527. Nicky Paris and uh, uh, Mouse just saying how well they've been taking the dog walk. You have to touch that white bit, otherwise you pick up five faults. And uh, Martin is eagle-eyed. This is Gamble, last year's winner. Bronze at the Team World, Stephen Richardson, the handler. Just to say that the best time is 32.9 and clear but this very much, they want to do well, the most important, they want to be there at the end. And there we go with those weaves again. Yeah, again, Stephen, known him for many, many years, maybe too many years. Um, but yeah, that's a mistake that, again, I just wouldn't have said he would have made. Um, and But now he knows he's got to keep this run going. Unfortunately, picking up five falls, and I think that was quite a clear decision there for the judge on that dog walk. Um, I think he went clear earlier, so he will be disappointed with that 10 faults. Now he'll just have to wait and see how the rest of the competitors do to see if he makes the final. It is, so finishing on 10 faults there, but Ashley and I are just looking at each other, just shaking our heads, because if Ashley doesn't know what the issue is, and I don't know what the issue is, uh, it's certainly not a course design issue um, because it, it's a fairly straightforward weave entry. It's baffling, I think is the word. Penultimate dog, Giggle, eight-year-old bearded collie, Jennifer Hartley Handler from Falkland, from Falkirk, homebred, working bearded collie, always gives it her all. Very honest dog. I absolutely love this dog. <laughs> it's one that I see some dogs and partnerships and I just wish I could have that dog. <laughs> it would fit right in in my pack at home. <laughs> and they are really competitive as well. Um, a couple of years ago at the World Agility Open, she won a, a gold medal uh, for Team Scotland. She's on five faults at the moment. Yep, just picked those up at the end of, end of the dog walk, but this is a very acceptable time, despite those uh, those five faults. Jennifer and Giggle. Smiles of satisfaction for Giggle here, Graham. And here we go. The dog says, well, if I move forward a little bit, Mum won't notice. Yes, she did. She wants that dog in a controlled start, because if it's an uncontrolled start, you start off in a panic and you never catch up with yourself. Oh, well, I'll wait for a minute. Last of the intermediate dogs. Pebbles, familiar sight. Natasha Wise from Watford, such a popular dog, and retiring from agility today at the age of 11. A tough, tough day for them all then, Ashley. Yeah, so um, actually, Sully and Pebbles won their champ tickets to qualify for this year's Crufts um, at the same championship, and they are both retiring this year as well, so um, I think that's quite a sweet send-off for them both, but Tash will just want to make the, the final. She knows that Pebbles probably isn't the fastest dog in the competition, but where she hasn't got speed, they have the experience together. Experience and reliability and shaping up really well as we come to the conclusion of this round. This should well be good enough for us to see them again later and have a grand retirement later on. 34.7 and clear then. Up into the top six they go. We'll see them again later, won't we, Graham? She is, uh, say, a little bit of a soft spot for Ashley. She's one of the nicest, bestest dog trainers um, around. Such a lovely person uh, and puts 101% into everything she does. So well done, Tash. Whoops almost over the barrier. <laughs> Please welcome Kennel Club board member Alison Scutcher and head of communications at You Move, Rachel Smith. The winner of the agility round of our agility championship in the intermediate height with Eurostar Lee Gibson. Appreciate it, thank you very much. Good girl star. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Wonderful Lee, thank, thank you. you. Well done. And the winner in the large height with agility champion Fan Dabinozzi, Eclipse of Dust, Dalton Meredith. <laughs>